Hey YouTube stackers, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I've got a little bit less than 12 ounces of silver to show you. Stay tuned, let's get to it. All right, everybody, and welcome back. So hope everybody is doing well. Uh, we'll go ahead and start out today's video by just reminding you that I'm just a stacker on YouTube, not a financial advisor. So please don't uh, listen to everything I'm saying here and run to the bank with it, right? I'm uh, I'm just a normal guy that picked up his phone, has some coins and bars, and I like to film them. And apparently you guys like to watch it because uh, the channel continues to grow. And I thank you for that. So in today's video, we're going to open up a little bit of 90%. And when I say a little bit, I mean a dollar face. So this is just the beginning. I got some uh, better looking coins to show you here in just a minute. Um, sometimes I like to add these $1 face purchases to my order in order to get the free shipping. And that's exactly what I did in this case, guys. Um, I was looking for that a uh, little bit more than $199, right, from JM Bullion in order to get their, their free shipping. And I was sitting a little bit south of that. So I went ahead and added the $1 in face value. I think this was considered a random purchase, right? It wasn't uh, necessarily quarters. It was could have been uh, two half dollars, could have been 10 dimes. But in my case, I got uh, four of these circulated Washington quarters. So we got a 19. Let's go ahead and try to get it focused in here. These are all in circulated condition. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy to look at. But we do have a 1941. Uh, we did get uh, a 1964. Funny because that's the worst looking one. And um, looks like a 1958. <clears throat> and finally here, go ahead and get the focus in another 1963. So uh, nothing fancy, about uh, 0.715 ounces of silver there. So less than a troy ounce of silver. Um, and 90% silver today is not as cheap as it was once. Uh, before. So the premiums on 90% have actually been jacked up uh, pretty high, uh, even higher than generic bullion investment grade coins like, you know, silver buffalo rounds, <clears throat> any of the silver rounds, three nines, fine, silver, of course. Uh, a lot of online 90%, of course, is more expensive than that. So if you're getting it at a better price at your local coin shop, then, uh, you know, props to you. That's normally where I like to get it. But if you saw my last video, I was looking for some 90% at uh, All American Gold and Silver in here in Central Florida. Uh, George is the owner. He didn't have any. So we ended up picking up uh, that 10 ounce uh, Herrera's bar. And we also bought uh, three Silver Eagles uh, last weekend when we were up to see him. So let's talk about the orders that came in this week. So we did get five of the 2021 uh, Canadian Silver Maple Leafs in. And it's been a minute since we've gotten some of these. If you recall, we have 10 in our tube of 20. We are actually stacking. This is one of the retro red top Canadian silver maple leaf tubes. These are 38 millimeters in diameter. So you can also put the uh, Peace Dollars, Morgan Dollars, Ike Dollars in this tube. The only thing is, is that the Peace Dollars, well, all the 90% silver dollars, United States minted silver dollars, um, they're a little bit thinner than the maple leaf. The maple leaf is a bit more thick. Uh, so you'll probably get more than 21 of the Peace Ike Morgan silver dollars into this tube. Now I get a lot of questions about where I find these tubes and I bought seven of them uh, quite a while ago from Atmex. If you go to the, if you go to Atmex and you go to other, and then you look at their coin storage options and you can go to government tubes uh, occasionally they will have these red top retro tubes that hold 20 instead of the more uh, modern 25 uh, yellow top maple leaf tubes. So let's go ahead and pop these maple leaves open. And these actually came in flips instead of the baggies. Like I'm going to show you the next coins. Next coins I got. Keep it a mystery for a few more minutes. Um, they come in the baggies. So here we go. Let's go ahead and pop this tube open again. So once more, we do have 10 of the 2021 Maple Leafs. And if you're very, very new to this channel, first time watching uh, my channel, well, I like to stack tubes of silver, uh, the occasional 10 ounce silver bar, 
Uh, also, I'd like to pick up gold. Obviously, you see some gold here in front of you um, in the market right now for another quarter ounce gold American Eagle. I'm looking for a random date, though. And um, the 2021s are available. I think this one here is a 2019. And, um, you know, obviously the AGEs come with a higher premium right now, like most of the American bullion coins. I get a question about that, too. Demand here in the United States is, is incredibly high. And that is our country's coin, right? The American gold and silver eagles here in the United States. So demand in the United States is high. A lot of new stackers, a lot of coin shops uh, are very familiar with the Silver Eagle. Everyone's familiar with the Silver Eagle. So that's why Silver Eagle premiums are super high. I'll be waiting to go a little bit more heavy on those Silver Eagles um, once the premiums on them uh, become more in line with those of the Maple Leaf, the Britannia, and the Krugerrand. Uh, once more, if you're very new here, we did stack a whole tube of 2021 South African Krugerrands at the beginning of the year, and uh, then we started this tube of maple leaves. We also have 10 of the 2021 Silver Britannias, and I've got more of those coming. So we will knock out this tube of Canadian Silver Maple Leafs. We'll have these 20 done while we're picking up a couple of uh, ASEs here and there, right? Not going heavy on the ASEs. Uh, that's from experience, folks. If you want to go heavy on them, it's your money. You can do what you want with it. But I can sell these to my coin shop for about $4 over spot. And I can sell the Eagles to my coin shop for 5 over spot, right? So there's a dollar difference. I'd get $1 less selling this to my coin shop than I would selling the Eagle. However, I can buy this coin for two, three, sometimes $4 less than an American Silver Eagle. So that's that spread that I like to talk about. Um, obviously, you very long-term guys, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter to you. Uh, it's just that I like to kind of keep things a little bit in perspective on uh, the actual premium I'm paying. And that's one of the ways that I calculate the premium I'm paying is that spread between what I can sell the coin for and what I can buy it for. And that's because uh, even though I'm long-term, and I've been stacking now for quite uh, quite a little while, um, in my opinion, a little bit more than about two and a half years now, which to some of you, you're laughing. You go ahead and laugh. doesn't matter to me. I'm uh, doing it the way I want to do it, and I'm adding about uh, five ounces of silver per week to my stack. Now, the reason that I do that, too, is because I, I run a real tight ship here. I, re wanna, I run a real tight budget, and um, I'm not one of those guys that's going to go out and buy a 100-ounce silver bar. OK, it's just not going to happen because I would have to I would have to save for that for quite some time. And uh, the savings on buying a 100 ounce silver bar over buying 100 rounds nowadays is pretty much nothing. Uh, bars are pretty high in premium. Uh, the old way of thinking, uh, if I just buy more weight um, for the retail investor, which is going to be anything less than 100 ounces, in my opinion, if you're buying more than 100 ounces, with each of your purchases and you're making those purchases fairly frequently, then um, that's not normal. Okay. You're, you're, you're bigger than, than most of us out there. You're able to do more than most of us stackers and good for you. Uh, no harm on you. That's great. But um, you know, for someone like me raising some small kids uh, also investing in my 401k IRA, a little bit of, you know, stocks some crypto, which has been on a tear lately. Uh, my account is up um, I think 13 or 1400 bucks. Last time I checked, it was up around $500 a few days ago. So uh, doing pretty good there with crypto right now. Um, this is the way that I like to do it, okay? I, I, I'm able to maintain a budget. I don't put myself in any kind of financial duress. I keep dry powder, aka cash, on hand to react to any kind of you know, emergencies that come up. And I'm still able to meet my goals by stacking several hundred ounces of silver per year. And um, it just works for me. So you do what works for you. This is what works for me. So here we go. Let's go ahead and add them into the tube. So we will now have 15 of these 2021 silver maples. And uh, these are beautiful coins. They You don't have to worry about the milk spots with the 2018 and newer maple leaves. And uh, no, milk spots don't happen because I touch them. Milk spots don't happen if they're left out in the environment. Uh, milk spotting is caused by a cleaning process at the mint. Once the coins are minted, they're cleaned. And that's a residual effect of that cleaning process, the milk spotting. So don't confuse tarnish with milk spotting, uh, two completely separate things. Go ahead and get to the next 
five ounces here. Let's go ahead and show you these. These are the 2021 Australian one ounce silver kangaroos. And I did pick these up through my one gold account with that mix. Um, had 50 or $60 in there. Whenever I get that amount of cash up, I usually just transfer over another hundred, which is the minimum uh, that I need to transfer over in order to redeem. And I know that the redemption policy at, at one gold has changed lately. I guess I'm grandfathered in. I don't know what's going on. Uh, for those of you that think that I'm in cahoots with that mix, um, yeah, right. Uh, they don't pay any attention to me. They don't even answer my my emails these days. I think I pissed them off when I called them out last year uh, over jacking up their prices of collectible coins when they're in your cart. Um, nothing more frustrating than adding something to your cart that's priced, let's say, $3.99, and you go to check out, and it's now $4.99. Um, I don't like that practice. And that's the practice that At Atmex um, has done and will continue to do. And so it's one of those things where if you want those Atmex exclusives, well, you got to play their stupid games, I guess. So anyways, um, they've changed some of their policies with their redemptions through one gold. It's still working for me, but I am a little bit nervous to move a lot of money over there because if it's got to sit those full 60 days, then I'm just not going to leave it there uh, because I'm not buying their digital products right now. I'm just... I see more of a quick return, a quicker ROI in cryptocurrency than I do in silver. Um, if I'm going to be buying silver, I'm going to be buying the physical kind. Unless, of course, you know, we see another uh, black swan event like what happened with coronavirus, where the entire, um, you know, asset, all assets crashed. Stocks, everything, gold, silver, Bitcoin, everything was crashed March 16th, 2020. That happens again, you know, that unexpected moment where, um, you know, silver just falls more than $10 per troy ounce in one day like that day. Then, um, you know, I'll sweep into those uh, paper silver assets. Yeah, I know it's not backed by real physical silver, um, but that's not why I'm buying it. I'm buying it because I know the price is going to run up real quick and then I can sell it and make a profit. Okay. Uh, I try to use my brain. Uh, love stacking physical silver more than anything, more than any other kind of silver. But um, if I'm looking to get in and get out, if I'm going for a quickie, then paper silver does offer that benefit in one gold. You know, it provides that option by being able to buy the vault backed uh, silver products, right? Cheaper than uh, buying physical, the premiums, and then waiting for it to be delivered and then having to sell it and ship it and potentially lose money. So if you're just looking to make a quick buck in silver, um, that's when I recommend paper. But if you're looking to save in silver, then you need the physical because that's the kind that you actually own, the kind you hold, the kind you own. So here you go. I'm going to go ahead and try to end this video because I did ramble on a little too much in the beginning. Um, but here are those kangaroos. And these do not appear to be spotted, which is nice. A lot of the kangaroos that I got during 2020 were pretty heavily spotted. And it's a turnoff for me when it comes to stacking silver. Uh, we have a lot of choices, right? When it comes to stacking silver, uh, you know, inventory can be a limiting factor, obviously. But when inventory is not a limiting factor, as it appears to be right now, there's plenty of silver out there, then I'm going to be more selective when I purchase. And so I... You know, I only bought five of these 2021 kangaroos because they were actually super cheap uh, to purchase compared to everything else. These were on sale at SD Bullion. Um, so I got some more coming in from SD Bullion. These I actually got from Atmex. So uh, they were pretty cheap, too. I think they were, you know, a little bit uh, better priced than even the Krugerrand and the um, uh, Philharmonic, which is usually the cheapest one. So if I can get the kangaroos cheaper than Philharmonic's then I think that's a pretty good deal. So last coin I'm going to show you, if you're still here, for the 30% of you that are still here, is this wonderful Australian wedge-tailed eagle. Um, this is just a nice coin. And this came with a recent uh, J.M. Boyan order. I only bought one because I think I paid $39 roundabout for this coin. Uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous like most of the quality products that come out of the perth mint right obviously the kangaroos are a little less in quality that's their national bullion coin the standard investment grade bullion coin but these annual series here from the perth mint uh they really are second to none when it comes to their quality so got a nice uh, eagle there with a snake in its talons looks like uh, 
I, don't, I really don't know what kind of snake that is. One of my friends here from down under, if you want to chime in, always appreciate it. So there you go, guys and girls. Got um, a little more than uh, 11 ounces of silver to show you. Have some Britannias, more Maples, a couple more Eagles. I've got another silver bar. Um, got a bunch of stuff coming in. I got to kind of gap it out, right? I can't just dump it all on the table in one video because then you guys watch that and you're eager for more. So I do kind of spread it out a little bit on these unboxing videos. Uh, do appreciate it. Do appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you like today's video, then definitely hit that thumbs up button before you leave. Once more, I'm the Florida Stacker. We do these silver unboxings all the time. Please come back and see me. Have a great day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.